Yeah, Diego Simeone um, there. What uh, an imprint, Keith. I, I struggle, you struggle to think of any other manager. I mean, you, you got the likes of Klopp and Guardiola and, and people at that level, but very few others who've put their own sort of personal input on how, you, how every sort of views an entire club as he's done in the last, what, 12, 13 seasons he's been there. Yeah, I think he, he he's quite infectious, isn't he? I think the the love he has for the game, the passion he has for the game, it just it just breeds into the Atletico Madrid team. And you know, the, the last couple of years they've had relative success with him doing really well, and they've just tweaked how they go about things these days. And it, it's probably not quite blood thunder as you would expect with Real Madrid. The passion's probably gone out of it slightly, although I expect there to be a lot of passion tonight. They're a little bit more open. They're trying to play this more modern style of football, but. You know, when you think of Atletico Madrid, you think of Diego Simeone. He is, he is the man there. And I, th I just think he's a great man motivator. He's obviously a brilliant tactician to get to this level, but he motivates the teams and the players that, that he goes into. So if you're a manager and you can motivate people to run through brick walls and get them to do the hard yards, which he does, you're always a very, very dangerous team because there's a lot of talent there, but he motivates the dressing room and that for me is probably his biggest asset. But the big question, and Keith sort of touched on it there over the last few years is, you know, should they evolve from that really? T I mean, you, you heard him say there about what he, the vision he had for the teams to make them really tough to beat, really hard to play. And mm. my God, they were when they were at their peak. Like uh, the accusation is that maybe he hasn't been able to move on from that and and, and build something a, a bit different. That maybe that's just his identity, who he is as a manager. Yeah, look, certain things have changed. Atletico, not least his hair, because you forget <laughs> slick back. Diego Simeone has a kind of an iconic streets will never forget kind of look about him. You know, it was it was epic. Yeah. You know, and he's not everyone's cup of tea. Myself and Brian here have sat and argued or discussed the merits of it. Brian didn't like it. I think there's a place for people like that in the game. No, they were an extreme version of defensive football. And he used words like tough and tricky. You could throw in cynical and borderline, you know, mm. crossing the line of whether it was cheating or not. And they were a, a, a downright dirty team. They were very, very difficult to play against. And that is what he wanted the club to be, or his team, or his ethos, what they want to be known for. And he has deviated slightly from it. Not a whole pile, but they certainly have come away from that real kind of dogs of war mentality where they just made every game just a scrap and frustrated. But he got a lot of joy from it early on, you know, especially you think back to that Sergio Ramos header late in the, in the Champions League final. So close to winning the, so Champions, close to winning League, the yeah. Champions League final. And I suppose he realised that. You know, I remember as well, they beat Liverpool as well. I mean, they really sucked the life out of Liverpool one, one year at, uh, at Anfield. I remember that as well. So he had a lot of success with it and he's just moved away from it slightly. Um, just a little bit more, you wouldn't never call them possession-based, but they're not as deep and as, as tough to beat yeah. as, as, as what they used to be. Um, has he pulled it off? Look, nine out of 11 seasons, they've been in the knockout stage of the Champions League, um, even with that little bit of evolution we're talking about. So I think he has. Um, you might, yeah, and I think that's the reason why he keeps getting offered new contracts. He signed another one towards the end of last season with Atletico up to 2027. 20, um, 11 consecutive seasons in the Champions League and looking to make it to a seventh um, Champions League quarterfinal in that time. And they just had nothing like that sort of success before he came.